Hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. We will learn how to make a cinnamon base without blocking. That is exactly what was used here. They created the cinnamon base and then go, go ahead to place the designs. So I'll be using this my cinnamon. Remember that cinnamon is cut in a bias form. And this is what I have. I've already worked with the other parts. So I will simply show you what I mean. You don't fold your cinnamon this way. Rather, you fold it this way. You fold it in a triangular form. Then you can cut it out and then make use of it. You can see that. So that is what I did while cutting out the tsunami. And then the next thing is I have this very pattern. You can give your pattern any shape of your choice. It can be a heart shape. It can be oval. But for this tutorial, I'm using a circular shape. So I will just go right there and cut it out. I'm using two pieces of cinnamon fabric. So you go ahead to cut it out. Cinnamon is usually um, light. So it's advisable that you use up to two layers or three layers of your cinnamon while creating your facade. So I'm just going ahead to cut it out. All right. If this is the first time of visiting this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you for joining me. And if you are finding value in this tutorial, please go ahead to hit the like button. So can you see that I've already cut it out? Right now, I just want to spray it some water. Cinnamon is hard to work with or rough. So you spray some water so that you can easily work with it. If you don't have a straight bottle, you can use your hand and just splash some water around your cinnamon. So next thing is to iron. So I'm going to be merging these two cinnamon together. I will just, I will simply iron it. And before I iron, I used to place my hanky over the cinnamon. If you iron it direct, I found out that at a time when the iron is heated, it's going to be melting the fabric and it sticks to your iron. Okay? So right now I'm done ironing it. Can you see how it has made perfectly? Can you see that? So that's what your iron makes. You don't need any form of glue. So let's go ahead to wire this very cinnamon. And I'm just going to be measuring out the wire that will be enough to go around. You can use this rubber wire or the regular flexible millinery wire that you know. Okay? So I'm just going to cut it out and then can stitch it round my cinnamon. As I am hand stitching it, I'm just going to be bending it to take the shape of this cinnamon. Okay? I hope you are finding value in this tutorial and if you do so, please go ahead to give me a thumbs up. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please kindly do so. I drop content on how to make your headwears, your hats, your turban, fascinators, alright? And to all my subscribers, I appreciate you all. Thank you all for sticking with this channel, okay? I promise you more content on how to create headwear designs will be coming your way so if you are yet to do so please go ahead to subscribe so that you stay updated once i drop new tutorials okay
so right now I'm done wiring this cinnamon and I'm just going to be showing you how I will cover up my wire okay I'll be using this cinnamon also you can use a bias or a pattern but I'll be using my cinnamon and I folded in about one inch can you see how I am folding it and with this I'm going to be showing you how to create what you use to cover up your wire so you keep watching and you keep learning please if you find value don't forget to like my video so keep following this tutorial till the end to understand how I created this to finish all right guys i hope you followed up to this point and you understand it perfectly how i achieved this so thank you all for joining me in today's tutorial i will see you in my next tutorial bye